In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download The Sims 4 mods. Not custom content, but mods. There is a difference. I'm hoping to make this short and sweet for you guys and very helpful. So if you need help with this, keep watching this video. Hey guys, oh, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well like always and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video to watch it. The first thing you need when you're trying to download custom content or mods in this case would be a file opener. If you do not have Windows 10 and even if you do have Windows 10, you will need a file opener sometimes because sometimes a Windows 10 opener will not work. I know for a Mac you do need a file opener. So I suggest JZip or WinRAR. WinRAR is really good but JZip is awesome as well. So I will have these both linked in the description of this video. It's just a program. You download it and you install it on your computer. It takes less than a minute to install. It just is a program that helps your computer open up different files. So, it's very, very, very helpful because in order to open up zip files, you need a zip file opener. So, that's that. Moving on to the mods now. I love Kawaii Stacy. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, you do not know this about me, but I review almost all of her mods and I love her so much. She's one of my favorite mod creators. And for this video, I'm going to be clicking on the Slice of Life mod because it's literally in my top fave favorite mods. <laughs> it's in my top five favorite mods. And the first thing you do when you're downloading a mod, you would check to see if you have the required game packs. So Kawaii Stacy is so good at this. She puts the requirements at the top. And as you can see, it's base game. And I love her because most of her mods are for base game. Um, and then next, it puts the patch that it's been updated for, and that is the most recent patch. Check your game file to make sure, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in another video. But again, this video is just to show you how to download mods. And you will make sure you have the right patch, and then it shows you when she updated it last, which is January 28th of this year, which is not that long ago. And this mod I think is amazing. I'm not going to go over it again because I have a review on it and that will be linked in the description of this video, but it changes so much about your game and my favorite part about it is the personality system. It, My sims act so different with this mod in my game and I never take it out. But going all the way through after you read through the mod and you're like, oh my gosh, I want this, go down to the download portion of the description and you can support the creator by doing the ad fly. I always do this, but I'm also a patron, so I've already downloaded this mod for the early release. And if you do just hate, you just don't like ads at all, there's a file for you too. But once you click one of these, sim file share should open up and all you would do is click open it up well download then open it up so I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna download it and show you guys how it looks when it opens once it opens up you will see it pop up on your screen and you will see it has so much stuff in this folder um, but it tells you slice of life mod it has so many different folders in it and again I'm not gonna show you guys how to install it but you can see that you need the opener because this is WinRAR and it opened up this file it is a zip archive file so you do need a file opener um, and that's it you guys that's how you download mods and just so you guys know just a quick thing it's been on the screen I think for a little but CC content is created by fans and it's like clothing hair skins eyes makeup new build by objects and etc a lot of people get it confused with mods mods change the way your game works and behaves it manipulates the actual system of the game so there is a difference. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, like this video if you like it and share it with someone who needs this info. And yeah, you guys, I'm going to prepare my series of video videos for you guys pertaining to custom content and mods and how to install them, how to download them and all of that good stuff. And with that said, I hope you guys are having a great morning, afternoon or night, whatever time of day it is when you watch this video. Talk to you guys very soon.